the armed forces of Russia and Ukraine reported updates from front line in the last 24 hour. The gunfight continued in some places June 10. The armed forces of Ukraine continued unsuccessful attempts to conduct offensive operations in South Donetsk and Zaporizhia directions, as well as close to Archomost. In Zaporizhia direction, as a result of the active actions of the Vostok group of forces, army aviation and artillery, two enemy attacks with the strength of up to a battalion, reinforced with tanks forward Yablonovoy and Novopokrovka, Zaporizhia region, have been repelled, said Igor Konoshenkov the Russian Federation Defense Ministry spokesman. In addition, two columns of AFU armored vehicles have been hit close to Novodanilovka and Malaya Topmichka, Zaporizhia region. Close to Vremevskoy Vistup, the enemy launched three unsuccessful attacks, each with up to a motorized infantry company, close to Levadnoy, Zaporizhia region, Sturizhevoy and Neskoknoye, Donetsk People's Republic. The courageous and decisive actions of the Vostok group of forces have repelled all enemy attacks. In total, of the AFU losses in these directions were 300 servicemen, 9 tanks, including 4 Leopard tanks, 11 infantry fighting vehicles, including 5 US manufactured Bradley vehicles, 14 armored fighting vehicles, 6 motor vehicles, and 1 French manufactured Cesar self-propelled artillery system. Igor Konoshenkov, the Russian Federation Defense Ministry spokesman, said in total, the armed forces of Ukraine lost 441 fighter jets, 238 helicopters, 4,563 unmanned aerial vehicles, 424 air defense missile systems, 9,841 tanks and other armored fighting vehicles. Also 1,122 fighting vehicles equipped with MLRS, 5,071 field artillery cannons and mortars, as well as 10,856 special military motor vehicles have been destroyed during the special military operation. The other side, the armed forces of Ukraine in an official statement said Russia lost 890 servicemen in a single day, including 8 tanks, 7 armored fighting vehicles as well as 15 artillery units and 16 drones. In total, Moscow have been losing 214,660 servicemen since their launching full-scale aggression into Ukrainian territories. Ukrainian forces have advanced up to 1.4 kilometers in, different sections, of the Bakhmut front over the past day, Sari Cherovati, spokesperson for the Eastern Grouping of Ukraine's Armed Forces, said on June 10. Cherovati claimed that 138 Russian soldiers were killed and 236 wounded over the past day in the Bakhmut area amid the Ukrainian localized counterattacks. This statement was followed by footage of destroying Russian BMP-2 with Stugner ATGM. President Volodymyr Zelensky said that Ukraine's long-awaited counteroffensive against Russian forces is already ongoing. Zelensky added that the generals are feeling positive about the outcome. Russia and Ukraine conflict has been lasting for 473 days. There is still no peace settlement between two sides. <laughs> Sudah nonton? Jangan lupa like, subscribe, dan share ya!